There you go. Ah. We're getting closer. I do know one thing. This is a pretty hot bite. I know you we've betcha. been really going through all different uh, fish species. Pike, big bass, nice sized walleyes, and magnum whiteys. <laughs> it's my favorite activities. It's such a beautiful day. It's unbelievable, and there's not another human being out here. It's what's just, just almost mind boggling. At the, you know, at the camp we're staying at LaBelle's right now, it's sort of interesting because most of the people that are coming <laughs> into camp, you know what they're doing? Hot. <laughs> not fishing and I, I I'm not much of a, a hunter I guess I do hunt but I hunt fi fish <laughs> one thing nice about mapping today it really helps you really isolate where fish are really quickly and you can see what the way I got the map gradient on here you can see that really deep blue that really represents really deep water actually deeper than like 50 60 foot of water and right now that's where a lot of these fish are get a winter at but as we pull up, and you can see I actually have like a, uh, like this is a 23 foot hump, but I'm gonna pull up on the top side of it. What's really important in almost any fishing situation is the boat control, how you present the baits and it's the relative speed. Depending on the conditions right now, the wind isn't too bad, but a lot of times what I've been doing is I'll pull up on the top side of the hump. As you can see, I'm just pulling in on the top side of this hump. And what I'm gonna do is put the trolling motor down and do a controlled drift down down the uh, the length of the, the hump. But depending on the situation, each spot is a little bit differently. But it seems like this controlled drift is the best technique for the best uh, boat control presentation. What we're doing is trying to min keep our speed below about 0.7. But the biggest thing is obviously is we want to maintain bottom contact. All the fish we're catching are relatively close to the bo bottom. If you get moving too fast and you're not hitting the bottom, generally you're not catching the fish. You want to be have the bait shooting off the bottom, hitting the bottom, shooting it off the bottom. But the thing is, is that's what I'm using the trolling motor just to check our speed. And I'm using it and I just kick it upstream a little bit to slow our speed as we're drifting down the length of this hump. I'm just coming up onto the tip of it now. The interesting thing is, is when you get on these spots, the active fish that are on them, you catch them almost instantaneously. It's, it's almost like amazing how fast you catch them. You pull up and it's boom, boom, boom. The ones, the hot fish that are set up to feed, you catch them quick. Oop, like that. <laughs> like that. You need a net for that one? I, I don't know, it feels like a good one. That is Dave. Ooh. This guy here is have a little bit is a little bit more st substantial purchase here. You know what that guy is? He's a yeah, big walleye. Look at that guy there. Look at that guy. <laughs> There's there a go. good one. Come here, buddy. Oh. Nice. Nice. Fall fishing. <laughs> Canadian lakes, it's just absolutely stunning. You know, the day we've had today, just, you know, even being on the water for a couple of hours, I mean, we've caught just oodles and oodles of fish. There's not another human being out on the lake, isn't it? Just, it's absolutely amazing. It really is. The one thing that, uh, if you're into fishing and really into catching a lot of fish, take advantage of it. Come here, buddy. Look at that guy. 